what you're going to get from a property seller, you're going to ask for a current rent roll and a income and expense, or we call a profit and loss, or sometimes we'll call a trailing 12. A trailing 12 is a profit and loss or an income and expense that shows the previous 12 months. So 12 consecutive months back is what it should look like. That's what we're going to ask for. Um, sellers that are a little bit more less sophisticated are going to probably give you be less compliant with their accounting and their bookkeeping. Um, so when people are less compliant and less able to provide facts and details such as financials, uh, we always err on the side of benefiting me or benefiting you, right? If I don't know, I'm going to guess in my favor. And I tell them that. So the more information you can give me, the better the price I can give you for your property. Does that make sense? Right? Because you're going to get people, well, we don't, have, we don't have income or expenses. for. Do you have a bank account? Yeah. Income and expenses are in there. Right? So people are going to try to tell you that kind of stuff. In this case study, we have an asking price of $1,160,000. It's down here about midway down your page. Um, the question we're going to ask ourselves is, would you buy it? Why or why not? It's a 16-unit property, $1,200 per unit in rent. So if we had a rent roll, you'd be seeing unit one, $1,600. Unit two, I'm sorry, unit one, $1,200. Unit two, $1,200. Unit three, $1,200. You get, you get the idea? You get $180 a month in laundry. And one of the things I want to point out to you about this spreadsheet is that everything we're going to be putting into the spreadsheet is going to be an annualized basis. So the gross rents are going to be 12 months worth of rents. And the laundry is going to be one, uh, 180 times 12. Right? There is no utility reimbursement on this. And I'm going to go through all the line items on the spreadsheet and tell you exactly what they are. Because really, what we've done is dumbed this down to such a way that you can just take the information off of whatever information you're getting from your seller. You plug it into the spreadsheet, and you're going to be able to manipulate this information to make it do what you want it to do. Thank you.